Molly Berry here, continuing my Project Zomboid Beginner's Guide playthrough. Today we're going to cover rudimentary cooking basics, spear crafting, and combat pointers, how to win a fight against a horde of zombies, introduction to skill books, level boosting, more foraging, and we scratch the surface on inventory management. All right, welcome back to Molly's Zombie Adventure. Wait, Molly's, I think that's what it's called, Molly's Zombie Adventure. I know for sure I'm going to be snagging this digital watch. All right, so as promised at the end of the last, uh, last week's video, we found a watch. So the watch is gonna tell us a bunch of things. We're gonna wear it on our left wrist because we are uh, sophisticated individuals. And you can see immediately on the upper right hand corner, um, oopsies, <laughs> you can see we have the time now, we know what time it is. So that's gonna indicate uh, when it's gonna start getting dark and whatnot. It's also gonna help us out because there's something that happens at 6, at 6 a.m., noon, and at 6 p.m. every day. All right, so we are, we geared up to go into this house. Let's turn on our foraging again. Especially early on, we want to, we want to remember to keep focusing on foraging because we're going to get food items and apparently cockroaches. That's so gross. It is really quiet around here. All the zombies moved into the city. They're like, I'm getting out of the suburbs. The suburbs are boring. There's nothing to do. There's nobody to eat for breakfast. I'm going to raid this house. And then I think we're literally actually down the street from the fire department. All right. So we have done quite a bit of foraging in this little area. And there's nothing. Nothing but a cockroach. All right. This house is not, it's not very promising. I like to forage in a um, in an S pattern. And I blame... Airline fod walks for that. All right, let's get in here maybe. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> so you can right click, close window, or you can actually hold down. Oops, not hold down. You can tap E. <laughs> I do this every time. All right, hold down E to jump through and tap E to close. Hold down E to jump through and tap E to close. All right, we've got a volume one for electrician. That's actually great. Um, I want, oh, foraging. Yes. I was just going to say, we need to talk about reading books. Let's close this curtain real quick. It's 2330. We're not tired at all. Interesting. All right. Let's close the curtain. <laughs> let's uh, read this book. All right. So what is going to happen when we start reading? If we click on the heart over here, it'll bring us to info. Go to skills. We look at foraging right here. We've got almost one level in foraging. Oh, hold on. That's this. We're, we were seeing the mouse, the mouse over tool for this right here. We're going to see the boost right here once we finish the foraging book. We're going to see a, a boost to our skills for foraging, which is kind of fantastic. Um, what we just looked at here, that is the foraging window. And this tells us... It tells you it's nighttime. You can tell by the color of the blue slash black sky with the dots of white as the stars. So you can tell it's nighttime. It's going to tell you um, common discoveries that are possible or discoveries that are possible. Others, animal. Uh, hold on. Let me get it to a place where you can actually read it. There we go. Um, other common animals, common food, normal, stones, rare, firewood, rare. So that's in this room that I'm in right now and it tells you it's urban and it changes so it'll tell you you're in the forest or you're in the deep forest or uh, etc um, and there's our vision effectiveness our search radius is three darkness effect gives us minus 64.94 closing effect gives us minus 2.5 um, and then we're going to see like a you know the positive effects we have from our traits and bonuses um, I actually have uh, a trait called Lucy's. 
um, outdoorsman. So the outdoorsman trait actually gives me a boost to my foraging, which is quite fantastic. It gives me an increased chance of getting good stuff from the ground and also increases my bonus uh, radius. You see there, 0.8%. And I also lose uh, weather effective, uh, negative effective weather. And I think it, the darkness effect might also be from that outdoorsman as well. Yeah. Pretty fantastic. Um, like I said in the in the first video, traits do uh, traits do matter, but they don't matter if you can't survive. So that's why I say they don't matter. So it's a little talking in circles, but you'll see. You shall see. All right, we're gonna fast forward the rest of this book, um, and you'll see this this tick now here. I want to point out real quick. It gives us a um, an XP multi multiplier. So if we hover over trapping, we haven't read the trapping book yet. There's no multiplier. But we now have a multiplier of 0.3. We're like, mm, it looks like one fifth of the way through the book. So we're going to go up to the top right corner and we're going to say fast forward. And watch this. Boop, 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 boop. And if we look at the book as well, in our bag, you can see the green progress bar ticking up, which is quite quite a nice visual indicator, I think, of progress and success. All right. Well, I screwed up because we fast forwarded right through and I looked at it was four o'clock and then I looked again and it was seven o'clock. <laughs> we could have read that book in front of the TV, which is what I should have done. I should have turned the TV on. Uh, oh, there is no TV in here anyway. Okay. We should have turned the TV on and read the book in front of it. Awesome. Well, what are you going to do? We're going to grab that. Um, there's magazines throughout. The magazines give you recipes. Um, so look, keep an eye out. The other, the other skill boosting components in the game are going to be um, VHS. So you can find a video store and knock it over and steal all the VHS. We'll go ahead and read this magazine. We're very hungry. So we're going we're gonna to manage these moodles real quick. Um, we're agitated, but we don't have any... Um, Oh, dang, this, this place has a lot of cooking supplies. This is excellent. Um, we don't have any cigarettes, which is what we need to manage that Moodle. All right, here's a bed. These people have all of their lights on. Jeez Louise. All right, find a bed, sleep. We heard a gun, and it was like this way. Sound-wise, right? Do not know what that indicates. Oh my good golly, it is... Very bright. I mean, I do know what that indicates. Sorry. <laughs> I'm the one here doing the YouTube videos. What it means is uh, there was a like a meta event in the game and people are, zombies are now going to be filtering that direction. They're going to be like, what happened over there? So you want to stay put in a quiet place while they pass you by. <laughs> um, we are going to very quickly fill up. It's going to be too heavy for us. So we're going to need to find a place to have a base. Uh, so I think that's what we should do today. I think we're actually okay. I want to grab one each of these. Um, I don't really think we need the muffin tray. The muffin tray? The muffin tray. We're going to grab all of this food. Yes, even the ice cream. Let's equip one of these. Um, what's it called? Oh, crap. We need this, too. 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, perfect. Let's equip it. We'll use this as a weapon. Awesome. We have a griddle pan now as a weapon. That is broken or it's locked. No problem. We can hold E and get in there. Tap E and close it. Let's see if there's any weapons in here. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's better than nothing. Uh, let's actually grab this. Oh, it's almost dead. Dang. Okay. Let's grab these two. I think that's going to put me right at 18. Oh, shoot. Oops, skis. We are sad. Anything I can just toss.
Put that in our secondary and see if we can't put something in there. Maybe weight displays a tiny bit. We just can't climb over anything because uh, because it will... There we go. It will fall. When you have something in your in your hand, it will fall uh, if you try to climb over a large, like a tall fence. If you're climbing over one of these guys, you should be fine. Yes. That's when this game's... The realistic nature of this game is just mind-boggling. So we'll open up our uh, our investigate area box again. And now you see, remember I said it would change. So it's changed. It's lighter during the day. It's a sparse road looking thing. And we say enable search mode. And it's going to tell us stones are abundant, which we love. We want chipped stones. Um, oh, you know what? Uh, I don't have a knife. I want to show you guys a really... Good trick real quick. This would be a perfect area to do it. There's some bushes. And one of the easy ways to make a spear in the game is to dismantle a bush. Dismantle a bush. Um, kitchen knife! There we go. That's what I wanted. I wish I could get a, a backpack. Caring for your employees? No. Um, okay. Let's talk about this real quick. Um, I talked about VHS briefly. I said VHS is another thing in the game that'll help you with your skills. Um, and again, a reason why we need a safe house so we can start stockpiling this because we are encumbered. Um, I'm going to grab this because this is going to be episode one fishing. It's going to be exposure survival. So this is going to help me with um, my fishing skills, uh, which is great. Because we want to max out everything. We want to survive. We want to thrive in post-apocalyptic 1993 Kentucky. All right? This is our goal. This is the point of this game. <laughs> Let's grab that. Why do I have... Mm. Yeah, I'm so heavy. Eh, it's not too bad, though. All right. So I have the knife. And the point of the knife is I wanted to show you guys... A quick, early uh, way to get, to make spears. So a super easy hack for the game is to dismantle bushes. And as you can see, we're getting these little, these little sticks. Um, tree branches, I think is what the item is technically called in the game. Yeah, tree branch. Um, in order to get the tree branch, you right click and it brings up this menu and then you can say remove bush and then you'll get this action square and then with our little isometric view here, you select it, it turns bright green and then you can dismantle it. All right, so we're going to ignore the, we're going to ignore the twigs and we're going to get over encumbered still further. And grab all these tree branches. <laughs> I think what I'll end up doing here is actually is this car broken broken? Hmm. Let's see what the story is. No, that car is not gonna drive. But maybe I can just use the trunk of the car as storage for uh, oh, shoot. Really? An empty gas can? That's amazing. Maybe I'll use that as uh, as storage for... Uh, foods. I mean, all of this, these supplies. We're just going to take these items with us. In our backpack. And then everything else. Uh-oh. Everything else we're going to leave in the back of this car. So that's nine pounds, so that'll, that'll save us. All right, so we're underweight now. 
Perfect. We are very sad. Oh, no. Why are we so sad? Is there a book in here? Let's see if there's a book in here. So, yeah. Uh, a quick tip early on to help you make spears. And then when you when you want to go make a spear, um, you go to survivalist. And then you can see here you just need a tree branch or a plank. And one of these. We already had a chipstone, so we could do it. But I just wanted to get tree branches for us with that knife earlier. Let's just craft these. And now we're going to be overweight again. You can see our little progress bar. I went also overweight. That's brilliant. Don't bother with the steak. All right, guys. <laughs> They're not vampires. <laughs> all right. And now we should have three crafted spears. Beautiful. Um, and you can see the crafted spears are actually quite crappy because, listen, we just were born into this world. <laughs> we're burglars from an another life. Um, so we're going to just jump into spear life here. This is amazing. Um, so I do, I do two things. And this is going to be a quick little spear tutorial. Ready? I put one on my back. And then I put one in my hands. <laughs> All right. There. Now I have two spears on me. And if you look down here, you can see I have number one. And I can... Smash number one, and that's what's on my back. You can also hold down, um, oopsie, hold down number one, and you can see what you can equip really quickly as well, based on what's in your in your inventory. Um, that's to place it on your back real quick. So if I if I was gonna hold down number one, I could put the griddle pan on my back there. Now I have replaced the spear and placed the griddle pan on my back. So if you're fighting, later when we're fighting, we're gonna, we're gonna, our spear is gonna break, and then it's gonna be worthless because I am not gonna bother repairing this spear. All right, we're not gonna do it. Repeat after me: Do not repair your spear. Do not repair your spear. Good job, you guys. Is such, you guys are so smart. <laughs> so we're gonna toss the spear aside, probably inside of a body of a zombie, so it it um, disappears from the world and. It just doesn't sit there on the ground forever. Um, and then we're going to immediately grab whatever's on our back. Oopsies, I keep pressing Q instead of one. Um, so that's why I place a spear on my back. Because you'll see. <laughs> Let's go get a car. Or should we cook something real quick? Shaw's bot. Let's cook something real quick. All right, just so we have something ready to go, because we are getting hungry, I can see already. So let's prepare a stir fry. We have ramens. Let's throw the oysters in there. Um, peanut butter is a condiment, and salt is a condiment. So that's fantastic. You can actually resize your windows. Um, I don't know who needs to hear this, but, <laughs> but you can. There's a tiny, tiny little thing in the very small corner um, that shows you. I just like to pull this out so we can read them. We can read the menu better. Um, all right. So uh, I think we can open up some of our options here with cooking by opening up some cans of tuna maybe or corned beef. The thing about cooking that you want to know is you actually have to be like next to the item inside of whatever cupboard you're next to. So my cupboard here is going to have the corner one. It's going to have canned corn and beans. I think those might actually go into a stir fry. Let's see if it'll let us open those. Hello? Hello? I think my can opener might be in the other thing. Oh, shoot. We have, we have maple syrup. Oh, this is a great house, you guys. Uh, hold on. I think I might have accidentally. I do. It's in there. That is so interesting. So the reason why it wouldn't um, open up the other cans is because the other cans are real cans. Um, there's tiny little details like that in the game. 
these cans require a can opener and the tuna and the corned beef and what was it, a can of sardines? They all have the pop tops on them. So you can pop those open without, I think it was tuna. You can pop them open without using a can opener. So yes, the deceptively simple. This is what I mean by deceptively simple game. So now when we open up our menu uh, for cooking, we will see we can now open up our beans and our corn. Does that make sense? You can kind of see that it, the can curls. Graphically, you can see it like has a little curl. So it's curled open. <laughs> there we go. Can tuna, it's curled open as well. Anyway. All right. Oh, and we can open up our carton of eggs. We can't use the eggs until we open up the carton of eggs. So let's open up this carton of eggs. Let's go to our stir fry. Now we see we can add all kinds of stuff. Let's open up a can of corn. Awesome. And let's see... There we go. Now we can add can of corn. So we've got all of these options. We've already added oysters. We can see the container already holds those. Let's add an egg. That sounds yummy. We can also just add a random pasta, a random egg, vegetable, condiment, or beef. <laughs> but I mean, let's just have fun choosing, right? Let's add some corn. So we got oysters, eggs, tomatoes, corn. Let's add steak. This is going to be some of the best apocalypse food you've ever seen in your life. I swear. I swear. I don't think I can put herbs, though. That's unfortunate. Um, let's add some dry ramen noodles. Mm, and then salt. All right, so our bags are a little bit unruly. So I think... What we should do is learn how to sort our bags by weight. It's a tiny little, tiny, tiny little filter option icon right up here. So let's do it um, by heaviest. Heaviest first. All right, let's check on these. Oh, it's cooking. Good. Oh, we don't want that to cook. Or this or this. Perfect. This is really going to help our hunger and thirst, though. All right, so that is cooked. <laughs> so the, the peanut butter, the tuna, and the corned beef, egg, and steak with chives and salt. I mean, you would have you thunk that would have been a little bit less boredom, at least. Oh, no, plus one unhappiness. We can't really eat that unless we're desperate. All right, we'll turn that off. All right. Let's go back out to the road and make our way up this road a little bit. In the rainy, rainy morning hours, Ooh, it's 420. Oh, it's going to be 6 o'clock in the morning very shortly. 58 degrees Fahrenheit on the 11th of July. Mm, this is so lonesome looking. Where are all the zombies? Oh, there's one. Let's also backtrack because our sound, our little sound waves are maybe drawing some bad guys out of the, out of the forest behind us. Hello there. So, you want to not stop, necessarily. Okay. So this is what I meant when I said to put it on your back, right? And so now we can hold one down and we can replace again. So we have... We have our back... Oh man, look how unhappy I am now. Depressed, ravaged by mourning and desperation. Well. We are very sad. All right. So I hope that 
is a really clear indication why I really favor the spears over the any other weapon in the game right now. It really is my favorite. So now we've reduced it to just two in my immediate vicinity. And now two again. Now let's look behind us. So I want to stand over this one because I knocked her down and then fight the other one because I can kind of control it a little bit easier. But that seems like frightening and scary, especially it's raining, it's the middle of the night, <laughs> but you really can survive it. I promise you, if you, if you, uh, if you use spears, because good golly, they're just so awesome. All right, so my spears are broken now. I'm going to put them in this body because I don't want to carry that weight around because it still weighs the same. And you could do, also do things to kind of prolong the life of your spear a little bit uh, if you have knives and stuff to attach it. I think you need knives and something to attach it. Attach a butter knife. Yeah, like duct tape. A butter knife and a spear. And then it'll kind of basically essentially break the the attached instrument before it breaks the spear so you can kind of get some more life out of it. All right. We are sleepy. I want to find some vitamins and stay awake. Uh, hmm. I made it quite a ways up here, huh? Okay. I think that we leave it here at the fork in the road for today. We've learned quite a bit today. <laughs> and I feel very confident um, next video we are going to make our way up this road. If I am correct about where we are, yeah, I believe up this road here, we will actually find a really good place for a base, the fire station. So next week, tune in and we'll make our way to the fire station, hopefully get a fire truck or a rescue truck. All right, that's it for today. I'll see you next time. Thank you guys so much. Bye. And that's it for today. Now it's time for you to let me know how you feel by liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my video. Major thank you to my supporters over on Patreon. See you next time.